Hello everybody, my name is Emmanuel Ochoa and I'm with Heritage and Actus. This year our legacy project Pantry of Hope will be a new online virtual experience. Our guest speaker Eva Charles will be talking to you more about building credit. so much Emmanuel. Well um, as Emmanuel mentioned my, my name is Eva Chavez. I am the business development officer at Lower Valley Credit Union and today we will be talking about building credit. Um, hopefully this information is good for you um, and if you have any questions we will share our contact information at the end. So we're going to start uh, really quick uh, talking about who we are, who is Lower Valley Cray Union. Well, our Cray Union was founded in 1952 by 25 original members who depos deposited $5 each. And we're, we're being growing and we're serving now uh, a lot of members in the Yakima Valley, Tri-Cities, Wenatchee. So we're very happy about the community support. Uh, we have different accounts and loans available for people with socials, ITINs. We have, for example, um, car loans, credit cards, personal loans, among others. And uh, one of the things that makes us different is that we have the Juntos Avanzamos designation. This designation was given to us for our, our commitment to serve and empower the Latino community as well as other communities. And another cool thing that we have is that we are CDFI certified which means that we work hard to serve underserved communities and low-income families. So that's a little bit about who we are. And now let's start with the fun part, which is about building credit. So what is credit? Well, credit is basically uh, the provision of money, goods, and services with the expectation of future, uh, future payment. Credit is something that you earn it. Uh, Nobody is going to give it to you, and it's based on how good you are to pay your bills. Uh, when we talk about credit, we talk about credit report. And for those of you who are not familiar about what is a credit report, credit report is basically a document. It says your name, uh, social security number, uh, where you live, uh, your address. Uh, but it also has all the information about how many loans you have or how many loans you had in the past, uh, how many credit cards you have. Um, if you're making your payments on time, it will show on your credit report. If you have anything in collections, it will show it on your credit report. And usually uh, lenders review your credit report among other factors to decide if they're going to lend you money. So credit score, when we talk about credit, we also talk about credit scores. And credit scores can range from 300, which is a very low credit score. You don't want to be there. And they go to 850 points, which is a very good credit score. So basically, a credit score, um, you start this when you start building credit. And it says how good you are to pay your, your, uh, your loans or credit cards. If you have a bad credit score, it might uh, be because you're paying late or maybe because you have a lot of collections, a lot of debt. If you're here in the green side, uh, more than 730 uh, points is because you're doing very good. You're paying your loans on time. Um, you don't have any in collections and you're, uh, you're managing your credit uh, well. You have been managing your credit for a long time. Uh, so that, that's, uh, that's how you build credit. And well, something good um, to remember during this session is that a higher credit score can help you get a lower interest rate and save money on interest, okay? So a higher credit score will help you to get lower interest rates, which will help you to save money on interest. For example, there's people who have, let's say, I don't know, 740 points and they get a car. And then there's people who have a 600 credit score um, and they get the same car, let's say, I don't know, $25,000 for five years. The person with the high credit score, uh, maybe they will pay, I don't know, 
2000 $3,000 uh, on interest if the car was $25,000. Uh, and this other person with the low um, credit score, um, if they bought the same $25 uh, dollar car, they might uh, end up paying, I don't know, $10,000 or $8,000. So it's a big difference. It's, it's always important to remember to increase your credit score to get lower interest rates. And well, if you want to get a free credit report, you can pause a little bit this video and type this uh, link, www.annualcreditreport.com. You can go there and get one free report per year. ¿Quieres que pare? Okay, and we will continue with the next slide, which is tips to maintain a good credit. The first tip is only use as much, uh, as much credit as you can comfortably repay. Uh, this means, for example, um, only get the loans that you can afford, only get the credit cards that you can afford, because it's very tem tempting, right, to go out there and get a bunch of credit cards uh, in any store that we go, right? Uh, or get a, a, a lot of loans. But the bad thing with that is obviously it can be hard to pay your debt. And sometimes you can even go bankruptcy. So it's important to only get the loans when you really need it and the credit cards when you really need them. Uh, the other uh, tip, and this is a very important tip, is to pay your bills on time. If you pay your bills on time, your credit score is going to go up month by month. So that's a very good thing to do. But one late payment that is reported on your credit report, it might make you lose a lot of points. You can lose, I don't know, 30, 60 points or more. And um, that might stay in your report for one to two years. So it's good to always pay your bills on time. You can... Uh, Set the habit of paying your bills one or, or three days before the due date. Or maybe you can set automatic payments and you just forget about it and you're not worried that you gave a late payment. The other tip is don't apply constantly for too many loans or credit cards. Why? Well, the first thing is every time that you apply for a credit card, even if you don't get the credit card, you're gonna uh, lose points. Uh, um, your credit score drops, okay? So every time that you apply for a credit card, even if you don't get it, your credit score will go down. That applies to, I don't know, Victoria's Secret credit card, Amazon credit card, Walmart credit card, any credit card, a bank credit card. So uh, loans, for example, car loans, home loans, uh, uh, personal loans. When you apply your credit, uh, when you apply for like a personal loan, home loan, car loan, your credit score will go down as well. However, with these loans, you have a window of 15 days to shop around. What do I mean with that? Well, let's say you go today, you go to a credit union and apply for a car loan. And then three days later, you, you go to another credit union and apply uh, for a car loan to see, to compare the interest rates and see who give you the best deal, right? And then uh, f uh, on the fifth day, you go to another credit union and you apply for, for another car loan. And then you have three different uh, deals, right? And you compare interest rates, down payment, everything. Uh, so because you did it within a period of 15 days, your credit score is gonna drop only once. So credit cards, it will drop. It doesn't matter um, if you apply today or in one month or in five days, your credit score is gonna drop every time that you apply for a credit card. But when you apply for like a car loan, home loan, personal loan, you have a window of 15 days to chop around for like the best deal. And unless it's highly necessary, uh, avoid closing credit cards as this drops your credit. So when you close a credit card, your credit score drops. So basically, uh, what we recommend is that you just get the credit cards that you really need. Um, we say one to three credit cards should be fine as long as you use them. We know that some people love to have a lot of credit cards, five, ten, I don't know, maybe more than that. 
but if you can manage like one to three credit cards that you can like there if they are general and you can use in different places um and and you like manage them well you should you should be doing well with your credit cards and you don't have to get into the problem of closing them or, or closing your credit cards now let's say you say you know what i have a credit card i had a, a debt of five thousand dollars and i didn't pay this debt in like for eight years and i paid too much interest rates and i don't want to deal with that credit card anymore well in that case if it's not working for you, the credit card, well, you have to close it. Uh, you just have to remember that your credit score will drop, um, and it's just about keep working on your other loans or credit cards so that your credit score uh, continues to go up uh, month by month. And then another uh, tip is to resolve billing errors promptly. If you see an error uh, in your um, like loan statement or credit card, contact your bank, contact your credit union, because if that's reported in your credit report and it's, if it's something bad, it can affect your credit. So we're gonna do a pop quiz really quick to see if you're paying attention. Uh, I cannot see if you're paying attention, but I hope that you are. Uh, so which of the following sentences is correct? A. A credit score can help you, a higher credit score can help you get a higher interest rate on your loan. B, a higher credit score can help you get a lower interest rate on your loan. Or C, a lower credit score can help you get a lower interest rate on your loan. Let's see if you're, pre if you're uh, uh, the wife, if you put your husband, get, a, get into a competition to see who won't. Well, the correct answer is B, a higher credit score can help you get a, a lower interest rate. So we're gonna go into the last section. Uh, we have a few slides about how can I build my credit or how can I rebuild my credit, right? These are common questions that uh, people ask. Okay, so one way to uh, build your credit is what, with a secure credit card. And basically a secure credit card, you can get it at different credit unions and banks. We offer one. Uh, and basically you usually have to bring a deposit uh, with Lower Valley, you have to bring a deposit of $500 and then we give you a, a secure credit card that you can use month, uh, month by month as long as you pay um, whatever you own on your credit card every month or um, you make uh, monthly payments, you should be able to be building your credit. And I'm gonna make a little pause here because I wanna share some credit card tips. Uh, credit cards are in, um, important to talk about. Sometimes when we go to the store or when we go somewhere and uh, somebody offers a credit card to us, they just offer the credit card but they don't really tell you how to use it, right? So some tips uh, for, for credit cards. Try not to max out your credit cards. For example, if you have a credit card and it has a limit of $2,000, try not to spend the $2,000. The best thing is to spend about 30%. The first reason is because if you like max out your credit cards, uh, that can drop your, your credit score because you're like pretty much using, like you're getting in too much debt, like you're, you're using all your credit limit, right? Um, and the second thing that I like to say it personally is if you max out your credit cards, especially if you have like a high interest rate, it might be hard to pay it. So let's be careful about that. The other tip is before applying for another loan or credit card, try to pay your credit cards in full first, or at least reduce the, the amount that you own on your credit cards the most that you can. I'm gonna give you one uh, personal example. I have a friend, um, her and her husband are working on buying a home, all right? Uh, they applied um, a few months ago to buy their home, but they were not qualified for the loan. Why? Well, because they had uh, different credit cards and they owe a lot of money on them. So what their bank told them is, okay, we're not gonna lend you money, but if you work on like paying off those credit cards, 
you can come back, apply again, and see if you qualify now. And that's what they've been doing. They've been paying off those credit cards for a few, a few months now. They already paid like two credit cards, and uh, they're like probably in one or two months, they're gonna apply again for their home loan. So if you're gonna apply for a home loan or credit card, uh, I mean, if you're gonna apply for a home loan or car loan, um, it's always good to check your balances on your credit card and try to pay them if possible. And then the other um, tip is to avoid interest. This is a good one, okay? To avoid interest, um, pay the balance in full on or before the due date, okay? And we're gonna see an example on the next page. So if you don't wanna pay um, interest on your credit card, you have a grace period of 30 days. So if you pay whatever you own within those 30 days, you're not gonna pay interest. That's really cool. Um, now, if you cannot pay the full balance, uh, try to make large payments. Why? Because if you make large payments, you're gonna pay your debt faster and you're gonna save money on interest. And we're gonna see a very simple uh, example right now. And you can pause for a little bit this video um, and you can uh, write down this link. Uh, this link is if you wanna check out how much interest you will be paying on your credit card, you can go here and it will tell you. You're gonna pay, I don't know, $100 or $200 of interest in two years or something like that. Okay, well, we're gonna go with the next slide, uh, which is a sample of how the credit card interest rates work. Uh, and we have the sample of David. David bought a $500 laptop and uh, he got it with an interest rate of 19%, which is okay, it's not too high, not too bad. Uh, so the best thing that David could do is to pay those $500, uh, that way he doesn't pay any money on, on interest, right? Uh, so let's say David uh, is like, okay, you know what? I'm going to pay in 20 days. Uh, he pays the $500. He pays $0 in interest. So the total laptop cost is $500. So the best way to avoid interest on credit cards is to pay whatever you own, own uh, on the due date or a few days uh, before the due date. But let's say David is having a hard time to pay the, the $500 within the month, right? He's like, okay, you know what? I can give large monthly payments, that way I can save some money on interest. Well, let's say, let's say David is like, okay, I'm gonna give monthly payments of $85 per month. Well, he's gonna uh, end up paying this laptop in seven months, so he's gonna pay the $500 plus $29.12 uh, within seven months, and the total laptop cost is $529.12. with Because remember, although we don't wanna recognize that, uh, you have to add the interest to, to the cost of the item that you bought because all of that will be the cost, okay? But let's say David is like, I don't care, I'm just gonna give the minimum payment, it's okay. So if he does that, so he's gonna end up paying more money on interest. So he's like, you know what, I'm just gonna give a $25 payment, and he doesn't know, but he's gonna end up paying in 25 months, right, which is more than two years. So he's gonna end up paying the $500 plus $105.98 uh, on interest. So the total laptop cost is $605.98. So if we compare these versus these versus these, we definitely pay way more when we pay the minimum payment on the credit cards and it takes way longer to pay your debt, right? Uh, and maybe some people on the, are watching us are like, $100 and $105.98 on interest, that's not a lot. Well probably you think that it's not a lot, but what about if you have a $2,000 debt on your credit card? You might going to end up paying way more than $100. So uh, my best advice for you is to, if you can, 
uh, try not to like put too much money into your credit cards and pay it on or before the due date. That way you save on interest uh, or give large monthly payments and that way uh, you end up paying your debt faster and save money on interest. Okay, well, and another way to uh, build your credit is through a secure share loan. And basically um, a secure share loan, you bring like um, a deposit and then uh, you get a loan, you pay it back, and then you build your credit. Uh, you can get this at different credit unions and banks. Uh, Lower Valley also has a secure share loan. The way how it works is you bring a deposit of $500. The $500 are frozen into an account, and then we'll lend you $500, and then you're, you're gonna start, uh, start paying back the $500 that we lend you. And at the end of 12 months, you should be able to get back uh, your $500 original deposit, and you should be able to have um, a credit score of like 600 or, or above. That's another way, another way to build your credit or rebuild your credit. And um, other way is to get a cosigner. Uh, we are very familiar with this. Um, so basically, when you get a cosigner is when you ask your dad or mom or uncle if they can uh, be, uh, if they can help you to get a car, let's say. So a cosigner is basically a person who, uh, who puts their name, uh, their credit report so that you can get a loan or, um, or um, I don't know, a car or whatever. So uh, a cosigner, uh, they put their, their, uh, their credit. When you're paying the loan, they're, bu they're building your credit. You are building your credit as well. Uh, the only thing that I always say is just be careful because if you don't pay your loan and you have a cosigner, uh, your credit score is gonna go down and you will also affect your cosigner's credit. Um, and then another way to build your credit is to become an authorized user from like a family, uh, a family uh, member who has a credit card. Um, if they can add you as an authorized user, you can also build your credit that way. And well, this is all for today. Um, very simple uh, session. If you have questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. You can give me a call or send me a message to my work cell phone, 509-840-8225. You can pause the, the video for a little bit and write down 509-840-8225. Or you can send me an email to echavez at lowervalleycu.org. And well, we're... Uh, on the last slide, which is thanking you, but also I wanna take uh, a little time to thank um, the, students, uh, the students at Heritage and Actus. They're been working really hard to make this possible. So thank you so much, Heritage and Actus. You're doing a great job. And um, well, I hope that all of you, those uh, people who are participating at this uh, virtual workshop, uh, you love and enjoy the information. If you have any questions, let me know or let the, the students at Enactus know. Thank you so much and have a good day.